Hello everyone! Today we will be making paper bound or soft bound binding. This is another technique for you to learn. This is Serene and I am your TLE teacher. So in making the paper bound or the soft bound binding, we'll be needing steel pieces of band paper. This is 25 pages of scratch paper. If you have some used, uh, one part no use and the other part is still clean, you can use that. This is 25 pages. So you need to say the moment I cut it into half, you will be having a 50 leaves or 50 pages of soft bound binding. Okay, so aside from that, we will be using still our cutter our padding glue for our adhesive or white glue you can also use that our straight edge our back cover this is your something like soft cover you can use folder if you like or i don't i will not be using this because it's white and then the paper is also white so i'll be using pink just to contrast or you know it will become a different color to the body of our Binding paper. What else? We will be needing also thread, no, a book binding thread. But you can use, um, I don't know, what, what do you call that? Thread for crocheting and a needle, big needle. And this is what we call the leatherette. Okay, so leatherette can be bought in, bought in school supplies. And you just have to say let the red, you know, there are colors like red or green. But if you don't have this, then you could also also use folder, maybe another color so that it will be, it will give another contrast to your work. Okay? And a binding clamp too. But if you don't have this, you, know, you will still be using the same technique that we used last time where we are just only placing our paper pad maybe at the edge of the table and placing something heavy on top of it okay like that and then we will just apply the glue there so that will solve the limitation of having a binding clock okay so i think that will be all so are you now ready so let's start So to start with our project, we need to cut the paper into half by, by folding it. This will just only give us a the marking so that we could exactly cut the paper into two equal parts. Okay. So once you do that, we could position it this way. Mm. And then, using our cutter, maybe I will use the yellow cutter this time. We will be cutting the paper into half. Okay. So you just have to make sure that you actually are heating the folded part of your paper and you need to start the cutting process. You know that the blade is actually a bit dull. So maybe we could, I will be showing you later how to cut it so it will have a fresh, sharp edge or cutting edge cutter, okay? So same technique, we need to angle the cutter very close to the paper, not this way, but uh, close. No, you need to angle it that way. So the closer you are to the paper, the neater uh, or the cut becomes more neat you know, compared to having it in a very high angle. Okay. So 
and the technique I think is for you to to place this two portion where the cutting process take place or took place no, into one. So what will I do? I will not be doing be doing that way, but I will be doing it this way. Okay. Then uh, this is already 50 pages because this is 25 at 25. You will see that it's not level, right? So it's not level. We will still be doing the cutting process later. So the next thing that we need to do is for us to get the cover no, of our soft bound. So for us to do that, maybe we could consider the design of this. Or, oh, there's another paper. So for us to do this, we will be... Um, so this is the this one page of the folder use folder is enough so we will use this as our reference so we will be cutting this into half like that okay. once we done that part um, We will be placing the paper here and do the cutting again. And then we will, we will be needing two, two of this. So just simply duplicate the, the dimension of our folder. Okay. There you go. And then um, using our cutter and our straight edge. this part as well so we will be cutting that out so we will cut the paper so we're done we'll be returning this to its original place so this is the part for decorative purpose. We, I think we will be placing this outside of our work here, and maybe the V here is will be hiding it at the spine of our boot binding. Okay. So it's not yet level here and here and in here, but it's level here. So. We will be using the same technique we did with our paper pad. So we will be producing some cuts here using our cutter. This will only give the kind of more um, uh, portions or avenues for the glue to penetrate. Okay, so that's the principle. Once you do that, we will be doing a paper padding technique. So by placing it at the edge of the table, or in our case, since we don't have edge of the table, we will use the edge of, I mean, we don't have the book no, that we used for, say, yesterday. We will be using the edge of the table here. Maybe we could place it here and we will use our binding clamp here so if you have um, and then we will use white glue since you don't have I think uh, red or padding glue in your area so we will be using this So we will evenly apply the glue 
on the edge of the paper and we will wait until the glue dries up. Okay, so after the glue will dry up, we, we will we will do the stitching technique or process now where we will be uh, sewing the entire pages so that it becomes more durable or it moves. So let's do some little adjustment because it moves and it's not also level. I mean, some part of it is so. If if the the glue is still wet, you could do some adjustments for you to be sure that it's really straight. Okay, so it's just okay. Do that. So maybe we could scrape some of the glue then. I don't have actually a heavy object here, but if you have some books at home, you can use that. So in our case, we will just use the, the binding clump, okay? So maybe I can reposition the camera over here so that you will be able to see the, the gluing process, okay? There you go. And then we will be, I think I will be adding more white glue to the spine this becomes later the spine of your book okay so evenly i will be placing the white glue in it so what's good with white glue is it's flexible and the moment this dries up it becomes translucent and the technique is to let the glue dries up before applying another coating of the white glue. You have also to make sure that all the pages of your binding um, project is covered with the white glue or else that will affect the durability of your work. Okay, so we will be waiting for the white glue to dry up and then we will be doing the stitching process after that okay so we will wait okay i think the paper pad has dried up okay let us check if the paper pad or the binded this is a paper we did earlier is already dry so yeah upon checking it it's it's already completely dry there's some few raw or not so dried glue here but it's already okay so the penetration is really good as you can see so this is basically a paper pad just like we did with this one but we will be adding more reinforcement to it to make it more durable so i think we will be doing the stitching process by using our thread you will be using a thicker thread for this not just like this i think this is really for book binding thread and also for a hammer claw hammer and a thin nail this is i think one and a half finishing nail one and a half finishing nail so we will be uh say placing one and a half centimeter of gap so Using our pencil and our straight edge, we will be marking one and a half centimeter and placing a dot over here. Okay, so we will be making find the center first and maybe somewhere here and here. Here, this is just pure estimation, okay? So, these dots would mean placing a hole on it, okay? So, using our hammer and our nail, we will be producing uh, holes on it, okay? So, let's position the... Somewhere here, I think, that's enough. So somewhere here at the edge of our table. So <laughs> we need also a protection to the table. 
So we will dry the just few. I didn't measure, but I just only estimate now that there will be five holes in it. Okay. So the next problem is, and maybe we can use this damage as our base now for us to protect the table, not getting uh, damaged by the nail. just a little massage so it already gets through on the other side of the paper and we will be doing it on the remaining holes there. then little massage to remove the nail and then it will be This part as well. This is a soft bound binding. You can do this because if you will just use the glue, it's it's durable, but it's more durable when we will be doing stitches, stitching on it. So I think we missed the the other rule. So that's it. Your carpentry scales will also apply here. Just to make the hole uh, more cleaner. I mean, the holes. Just to enlarge the holes. You know, for us to be, to saw the much easier. Actually hit my thumb. It's not that strong. Keep. So we have already produced five holes in it and then the next thing that we need to do is to do the stitching. Okay. So in doing the stitching, we will use the, the thread and the needle. Okay. So you will apply your 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 stitching scales now you learn in your sewing before so we will now be doing our stitching job so for us to estimate the amount of thread that we'll be using so you will just uh, position the thread here this way okay so if already surpasses the total length of your work or project so that's already okay so using our scissors we will cut the the thread okay so and then we will be doing this step stitching there and it's a running stitch only or basting for some in out in out class And then we will be going back with the same hole on it. Okay, so once we are done with that part, we can release already our needle. But I will not be doing that because I will be placing a thread so that it will be easy for me to locate the needle if ever 
I misplace it. Just hold. So how do we close this? We just simply do overhand knot. Maybe somewhere here. Overhand. If you can insert it here, better. The cutter. Insert. do the knotting this will uh, permanently lock the stitching job you did with your soft bound so after doing this we will now be preparing our our uh, back cover by using um, the leather red that I uh, that we prepared earlier. So this is a special type of a paper where we usually can buy in most uh, supplies. Okay, so also for us to know the limit, uh, we need to we need to at least remove already the exist part of our leather red. So you can do this technique as well. Okay. Remove. You have removed it already. And then the next step is for us to locate the center. Okay. See, for example, you will be doing this. So. You need to be very good at centering. Okay, so there. And then we'll place the pencil. Okay. Pencil mark. There. So using this pencil mark, we will be neatly folding it in our... Uh, maybe at the edge of our table again. So that um, we could produce a very neat edge uh, of our um, this is the somewhat like the spine of the book okay so you will be doing this step like that and also uh, the markings you did earlier mm -hmm. so there you go you already have two folded part so this will make your work very neat okay. because this will really outline the very wheel of your of your soft bound binding okay so the next step is for you to apply some glue we will place glue on it using our So we have to make sure that we cover entirely the space of our leatherette, okay? We will entirely cover that with the white glue. For some, they are also using the rugby or the contact cement, which is more durable. As you can see, there are some smears on the table. I think we need to use a scratch paper for this to cover the not to damage the surface of the table. Okay. okay. So we need to completely I think we can use also the we could get a scratch folder. This is one technique that you can use. You can just simply 
cut or if you have something like a thicker board you can you also do that so once you have this then maybe you could evenly you can now evenly distribute the glue into your work okay? there so it solves the problem okay? so we can expect that this is really a very evenly distributed uh, glue to your work and then we will be returning or placing back the body of our soft down okay and then okay. so using the guide we did earlier we will be repositioning it's not centered oh yeah so anyway we will be doing adjustment later Center. And it's not centered, so maybe we could ano na lang, do adjustments. Um, so, little massage, and then we will be here. And if you have some rolling pin with you, you can also use that to flatten the edge of your work okay so I just use the bottle of the padding glue okay so there you go but this is not yet finished now we need to remove so it's really good that we will be using this for a uh, no, scratch paper to protect the layer of our table The last part of the project is for us to remove the remaining edges here, which is not straight, including the letter that we have added, by still using the same technique we did earlier, okay? So, using our cutter again, we will be using our triangle just to, for us to be sure that what we're doing is square square so you could make put some markings here minimum of one eight still do not cut smaller than one eight okay so i make sure that this is square one okay and the last part here is for you okay so in this in this technique we could be very sure that it's really square okay because we use the triangle having the right angle in it so we will be um, i don't know if what is your comfortable part to cut but usually you could just cut uh, any part of it but i usually uh make a cut this part last okay so i will be cutting this part this part and this part okay so in doing this step we just simply uh, position our straight edge in our cutter still we need to be very very um, i know consistent with the pressure that we're applying that it's uniform from start to finish you don't have to apply too much pressure in it. Okay. So you see, you could actually create a very clean cut. So it's already straight. Okay. So we will also be doing the same step on the next edge of our work by placing it here and doing the cutting process again. Okay. Uniform or oh, not too heavy or not too too much pressure, okay, just enough force no? to cut no? all from the top here going down here you need to be consistent because if you will just keep on cutting at the center you will be having difficult time later to make your work neat because
because you just only are cutting a portion of it. Okay, so you have to make sure that the totality of the land or you know area that you're cutting is really cut through. Okay? So we are now it's also clean. We will be cutting this part as well. So in doing that we will use the guide we use not to square our work. Okay. So oh sorry. So we will be cutting this part na naman. So you can increase the number of pages if you want. You could have 50, so you'll be having 100 pages of soft bound. Soft bound you know, book binding activity. So in this case, this is just 25, so this is 50 pages. So here, there you go, our soft bound paper bound. Okay, so you could use this part no, to jot down notes and we are also being friendly to the environment because we are not throwing scratch paper okay so this is book softbound binding 